Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vita Studio and today a quick video to share with you how to use our social media mega pack. It's a pack that contains over 70 titles and effects for DaVinci Resolve. It's perfect for content creator and anyone that create content for social media. You will have some visualizer for Instagram posts, you will have call to action, etc. So if you're ready, let's jump right into it. So this pack is currently available for sale on our website. Once you've downloaded it, you will get the zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you a folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You get the license, the installation instruction, the TFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because then she will not know what font to use. So just select all the font and then double click on them to start the installation process. Then you can select the TRFX file and double click on it to start the installation process of the pack itself. Select install, and then you can open DaVinci Resolve. Once on the edit page, you can go over to effect and you'll be able to find some of the asset in titles and some in effect. First off, for the one in titles, let's just open that, Visitor Studio, and then we can scroll all the way down here to social media mega pack. And then here we'll have a few category. We'll have call to action, chat toolkit, interactions, lower third and miscellaneous. I'm going to run through each of those categories and show you the big functionality for each of those titles. Those titles can simply be drag and drop directly in your timeline, as you can see right now, and you have the animation with a bunch of control in the inspector. We're going to go through that in a second. The difference with the titles and the effect is that the effect needs to be dropped on a clip directly. So now if I scroll all the way down to effect, as you can see here, the studio, and I'm just going to go over to social media mega pack. Here, as you can see, we have 10 different effects. Those need a clip or an image to be applied onto. So for example, here, if I were to just drag an image, I can then take here the effect and drag it directly onto our image and it will be applied to it. That's the difference. A title is a standalone that you can drag and drop directly in the timeline and an effect is something that you drag directly onto any media in your timeline. Now first off let's start with the effect available in that pack. There is a full video that I will link in the description below where I share how to use that Instagram post effect. Uh, you can also download this specific effect for free to try it out and see if it works for yourself. In that video, I'm going through all the parameter and what you can change for those kind of effect. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. So here are the layout that you can choose from. You have some Instagram live, Instagram post, as mentioned, Instagram reels, Instagram stories, social media post, then YouTube CTA, YouTube short, and then YouTube mobile version and YouTube video website. As mentioned, that works for any media. So here, if I drag that onto a photo, that will work perfectly fine. And then if I were to just bring any video, for example, this one right here, and drag that onto it, we will get exactly uh, the same result. And then here, the video will basically play within that frame. You have then control over every single detail from the animation to the position to the style, the color, etc. You can replace here every single element that you see on screen. For example, here in media control, you can adjust the overall radius. If you want to have straight edges rather than circle edges, uh, you can adjust the rectangle. Same here uh, by extending the width, the height, etc. Um, you can adjust the profile picture. So you can basically here upload any picture that you would like. And that will be now the new profile picture of the composition. Um, you can remove element if you decide here for whatever reason you don't want to have the subscribe or the like or anything like that. You can go down over to secondary control and then here you can just bring the size down to zero to basically kill any button that you may not uh, want to have on screen. So that's for the effect of the social media mega pack. Then if we go back to titles here, let's go through the different category that we have. I'm just going to delete everything that we have on our timeline and we're going to start with the call to action category. It contains just a bunch of different call to action uh, for promoting your social media, uh, promoting your YouTube channel, your Instagram, etc. So here, let's say I'm starting with this one. Let's drag 
this call to action number two here in the timeline. Here, there is a bunch of things that we can choose from. There is obviously, as usual, the control over the animation, like in any of our titles. So here, right now, the animation by default is two second. We can adjust that and having it faster or having it slower. Here, if I want to make it faster, I'm just going to select one second instead. And now the animation would be one second instead of two second. You can also choose the type of animation movement. Right now, by default, is zoom in. But if I want to have a slide up, for example, instead, here we'll have the title raising uh, from the bottom of the screen. We can choose between zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, slide up, slide down, and fade in. That's the case for any of the title in this pack. Same thing here for the animation. We can have no animation or zoom in, zoom out, so on and so forth. Also, you can choose the curve. Right now, for example, the animation is elastic, but we can choose to have expo instead or any other curve, and it will just give you a different type of animation moving in. I tend to use a lot scene and expo because they are just a very smooth uh, rendering. But for example, if you prefer to have elastic or bounce, uh, those are very interesting and viable option as well. And it gives you that uh, bouncy uh, style of animation. Then for this specific title, we can choose between the different type of logo. So right now you have a drop down and you have a bunch of different social media platform, etc. So here, instead of Instagram, for example, if you want to have X, you can uh, select like that sorry instead of youtube um same thing here for instagram if you want instead to have uh, i don't know tiktok and then uh, snapchat instead of facebook you can just select those right now and toggle between three different styles now we can adjust the overall position of that title so here let's say i want to make it a lower third so i can bring it here to the side and then we can just bring it down it's hard to see some of the design because here we're on a black background. So I'm just going to bring that up and then we're going to just bring a clip behind it. Let's say here this clip, I'm just going to add it up. If we want to change the profile image, we can just go to image, click browse, and then here uh, load any image that we want to use. For example, this one, you can then reposition and resize that image. So here we're going to reduce the overall size and we're going to adjust the position. Now you can also make adjustment to the mask itself. So here you have the image background with the corner radius, you can adjust the shape. So for example, right now, if we want to bring it back to uh, a square, I can do that. You can also adjust the border uh, width. So here that could just like modify greatly the look of the design. Uh, you can adjust the width, the height to change the shape and making a more of a rectangle, for example, you can change the color. Um, there is also the possibility here to change the position of the icons. So here, if you want to displace the icon uh, to the side, let's say uh, you can do that right here. So here I can move one uh, to the left, then the other one to the left as well. And same thing here for the third one. I'm just moving it to the left and then bringing it down. So that's for the CTA. They will pretty much often share the same functionality. Here with that drop down, you can always switch between a different type of uh, social media and then you can switch the text here for anything that you want uh, in any languages if uh, you are running you know social media in other languages than english uh, you can switch it to whatever uh, your preferred language is now the second category is the chat toolkit so here you can just bring for example a chat box you'll have all the usual parameter regarding the animation um but this one contains some specific uh, adjustment so here you can switch the view between a receiver view and a sender view so you can toggle between the two that way you can start to stack them up and create conversation you can also switch the type of messages so here for example you can add text you can have image and you can have both at the same time. The cool thing with those title is that here, the box is auto adjusting. So if I go over to message and then here we decide to just tape uh, more stuff, as you can see, the message uh, is auto adjusting. So uh, we'll have the box always keeping the right ratio. As usual, you can change the overall size and position. So here, if you want to put that to the side, reduce the size a little bit. Let's try to create maybe some mini conversation. I'm going to bring that up here, for example, rather than having a zoom in uh, animation, I can switch it to have a slide up. 
that will make more sense and look maybe uh, more similar to an animation from a phone. Uh, I'm going to switch that from back to Expo to give it just like a smoother uh, look without uh, the bounce. Then we can change the profile image. So here I'm just going to click Browse and we can have, for example, this picture right here. We can change the name to whatever. So for example, here, Greg uh, Malfoy. Here we go. And then the message to whatever we want. So here I'm just going to keep it at default, remove everything. Now to the reply, I'm going to select my title, old option, and then drag that above, or you can just copy and paste it. I'm just going to bring it slightly later. And then here I'm going to switch it from receiver to sender and to switch the view. And we're going to bring the size and position down. So here, let's just bring that down a little bit. So here we're going to select both and that's going to give us just a text plus the image. Now we can change the profile image. So I'm going to drag um, any other picture. So here, for example, I'm going to reuse this picture. I can then change the name. So here, for example, Lana Dell. Then I can change the message. So here I'm just going to open message. Uh, we can say just thank you. As you can see right now, everything is adapting automatically. And finally here, we can attach any image that we want and adjust the overall position, the cropping, etc. So here I can then uh, take whatever image I want. Let's just drag this one, for example, it doesn't really matter, but here we go. Uh, and now you will have like a simple text animation conversation going on. The text box pretty much share all the same uh, functionality. They just have different look to them. Uh, to kind of like represent different UI, etc. Uh, there is some that have like a few uh, different knickknack, like for example here that typing animation. But overall, they are sharing, uh, yeah, all the same feature. Then for the next category, we have interaction. So basically, that's all the interaction comments, etc. That you can get under a video. So here, if I were to take this one, for example, uh, you can just drag that in. Uh, then here, you could switch the logo to again any logo that you want. Uh, we could just uh, select YouTube, for example. Um, the text box is automatically adapting. So here in the message, if I were to uh, let's say write a longer message or reduce that message, uh, the box will automatically adapt to it. Then you can upload your own image, uh, so on and so forth. You can also choose for a specific animation on and off here. Uh, you have the right on animation. You can activate it or deactivate it. If it's deactivated, you will just get uh, the full animation without that right on. And if you activate it, you will get on top of the usual animation, the write-on effect right here. Then not much to add for much of those interactions. They are pretty simple and standard title. Um, you will know very easily what to adjust. Um, there is not that many categories um, and you can see all those elements right there on the screen. So here you have uh, controlled with the rectangles, you have control with the comments, so on and so forth. Now for the lower third is pretty similar. There is just some that have some new functionality. For example, here, this lower third 15, you have the possibility to choose between a bunch of different logo. So here you have a huge uh, list of logo that you can uh, choose from. And we can switch uh, that heart, for example, uh, to a dollar or any other uh, thing that is available right here in that drop down. We can then change any other parameter here uh, for the icon, the size. We can adjust the color of that icon uh, if we wanted to have it being red, for example. We can change the background. So here we could just go for another color. There is also control over the shadow and obviously the rectangle and the text. Again, this lower third section contain a bunch of different titles that allow you to display your social media handle in a nice way. So you have 15 different options that you can choose from with different type of animation and four different platforms that are easily switchable. And then lastly, we got miscellaneous, which are a bunch of uh, different other uh, tools that can be uh, helpful. For example, here we have that simple button that doesn't look like much. But personally, I know that's something that I might use quite a lot. It's just a simple text and icon button. So here you can switch that for any uh, icon available. And that could be just a very interesting um, tag that you can add on the side of a video, on the corner of a video or anything. Um, so that's very simple. 
but that's very useful and that's why we've included uh, those kind of small tool right here. For example, here we also have a progression bar. So here, as you can see, it's dynamically adjusting to its own length. So that could be a great way to display a sponsorship or to give a time representation to your viewer for how long, you know, an, an ad placement might be or like a section of your video might be, etc. And that's pretty much it. Hope this pack will be helpful to you. There is so many different tools that I think will really enhance your workflow. You can find that pack available on our website at vu.studio.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.